Today, I'm gonna be unboxing and doing a try on of the Ofra collab with Hot Mess Mama. Let's get started. So if you don't know who Hot Mess Mama is, I'm gonna link her channel up above. She is a adorable, sweet, funny, super honest content creator in the beauty space. She has a drama-free zone and she loves her coffee. So Hot Mess Mama got to create her own eyeshadow palette. Not pick existing shades, but literally come up with shades on her own and name them. She also got to put together a lip collection. And that is what I have in this box. So enough rambling. Let me dive in. Very, very nicely packaged. Would you look how thick and how abundant the uh, bubble wrap is? Ipsy, take notice. So I picked up the palette which retails for $39. There she is, there's Rhonda. And this is the Mini Mix Palette. I also picked up the Lip Kit, which comes with a liquid lipstick and a lip gloss. All of these items are sold separately. It's such a better deal to get the Lip Kit, which I believe retails for $27. The liquid lipstick retails for 20 and the lip gloss is 15. So if you bought them individually, that's $35, or you can get the kit for $27. There was also a little mini. I don't think I ordered this. Maybe this is a free gift. This is the long-lasting lipstick in the shade Pasadena. I also used Hot Mess Mama's discount code with Ofra, which is simply Hot Mess, and I saved $13.90, which I believe was 15%, don't quote me on that, off of my entire order. I'll just list my receipt on screen. So the Ofra palette comes with this fitted piece of plastic, which is quite thick. I prefer that over that little thin thing that can always slip out. Here is the color story. So it's neutral and then some deeper shades. And then we have a highlighter, a contour slash bronzer, and a blush. Plus all of these shades you can use however you want. If you want to use these on your eyes, you can. If you want to use the eyeshadows on your face, you can also do that. All right, here are the swatches. Starting with the top row, we have the shimmer eyeshadow. Next over is a very soft nude kind of peach. You can barely see it as it matches my skin tone. We have the army green and the purple. Next, we have the second row in the palette, which are some beautiful leaning more cool tone, which I prefer, brownie shades. And then we have the blush, the bronzer contour, and the highlighter. I wanna point out that this palette is magnetized. All right, I'm gonna start in with this shade, which is gonna match my skin tone and just kinda of put it all over the lid. So let me know, do you follow Hot Miss Mama? Rhonda, is she part of your normal video watching cycle or is she new to you and if you don't follow her you should definitely go check her out but if you just love and enjoy Ofra it doesn't really matter if you know who she is because Ofra makeup is spectacular all right I am done getting that all over the lid kind of as a base now let's figure out what kind of an eye look I'm going to put together I think, well, there are several browns. The question is which brown? I'm gonna go into this shade here and I'm just gonna get it going in the crease and a little bit on the outer corner here and just blend it in. These shadows, I'm gonna assume, are like other Ofra shadows I've used and they just blend so beautifully. Look how quick and easy that was. All right, I'm just gonna take whatever remains on the brush and drag that underneath my bottom eyelashes. All right, now I'm gonna go into the next brown shade over here using the same brush, because why not, and just deepen the outer corner slightly. These are really nice shades. They aren't super cool tone, but they aren't super orangey or very warm they're a good kind of neutral um at least 
that's how I'm going to describe them, which I think will bode really well no matter what your undertone is. All right, look how quick and simple. I'm going to do the same and just take whatever's remaining and get that on the outer corner there. Now, let's try the shimmer shade. This one here that's meant for the eyes. I'm just going to take my pinky and get it going on the middle of my lid. I think I pressed my finger in too hard. I saw a little bit of chunks fall down. No worry. All right, let's see what that looks like. Beautiful. I'm going to take that same highlighter shade, but with a brush and just get my brow bone going because I love a nice shimmer on my brow bone. Now, if you follow me, thank you. If you're new, welcome. I'm typically a very neutral kind of gal. Today, I'm going to be a little semi-adventurous and go into this green shade here. And I'm just going to put that on my lower lash line, which I've never done before. So we are experimenting together, but hopefully that will not be too much. And we'll maybe pull out the hazel in my eyes. I don't know. I may regret that. That's a little strong. Uh, I'm going to grab a brush and kind of blend that out. Okay, hopefully it doesn't look like I have a black eye. That is a little heavy, but like I said, first time for everything. I'm going to take whatever remains of that green and just kind of pounce a little in the corner here. Just a little bit. I'm just going to take a makeup wipe and fix the edges over here. I went a little wide. And then I'm just going to take the sponge I used when I applied my foundation. Just tap that out. Now my cheeks are bare, so I'm going to try the complexion products here. So I'm going to go in to the contour bronzer shade. This is a firmer, denser brush. And let's put a little here and hope it blends. Can it then take the sponge? I use for my foundation and just kind of tap it in. I think that is a nice shade. I was worried it was going to be a little too dark, but I think the tone is really nice. All right, let's give this blush a try. It is not quite Barbie doll pink and it definitely isn't salmon, but it's a hot pink with I would say a little bit of a salmon-y undertone. Um, that is not picking up as bright as it is in person, but let's not look like a clown and do that first. And just give a little blend over here. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. When I dipped in with a brush, it kind of scared me how bright it was and it looks super, super pigmented. I think tapping it off helped. That is very lovely. I also think the type of brush you use, if it's super fluffy versus super dense, will alter how it looks. And I picked a good medium road. It's it's flimsy, but semi-dense, if you want to call it that. All right, again, I'm just going to take my foundation sponge and just pounce everything in. Let's now go in with the highlighter. It is a little more golden and a little darker than I typically wear, but let's give this one a try. Now, if you love highlighters that can be seen from outer space, that is how I describe highlighters from Ofra. If you don't like a super blingy highlighter, maybe use a very, very, very soft hand. All right, my fear that this Highlighter would be too golden or too deep for my skin tone. Totally unfounded. Um, and I should know better because Ofra has some really good highlighters. I am digging it. Okay, my lips are super dry and I love lip products. So I am super excited 
to give these a try. Let's start off with swatches. All right, here are the swatches up top we have from Hot Mess Mama's collab. This is actually called Hot Mess Mama. And then below it is the lip gloss, which is clear, so you really aren't gonna be able to see anything. And here's the little free one they sent me called Pasadena. All right, so this is what the doe foot looks like. It is the kind that's almost like a little baby shoe, kind of tipped up a little bit. Um, this smells, by the way, just fantastic. If you like a nice vanilla cupcake scent, that's what we got going on here. Let's see if this is a good shade match for me. I think this shade is really good. It's leaning little cool, which I personally prefer. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of liquid lipsticks. It doesn't matter the brand. I just find them a little drying and just not my jam. I'm a bullet lipstick type of gal. So let's try the lip gloss because I need some moisture. On the lip gloss, the doe foot is larger than on the liquid lipstick. I would say it's an average size. Again, it's kind of shoe shaped with a little bit of a dip in order to store the product, which I really appreciate. This one I'm not smelling a scent on as much as the liquid lipstick. I want to say it has a similar vanilla cake scent, but softer or barely there if it has a scent at all. I could be picking up what's on my lips, but let's give this one a try. So much better. I am not a fan of liquid lipsticks at all, but when you put the lip gloss on, super comfortable, and this is the look I go for. I'm wanting a little more shimmer and something in the inner corner. And the shimmer shade is beautiful, but it's not quite giving me the bling I'm after. If you weren't aware, with Ofra eye products and with their highlighters, you can wet them and it will make them glimmer, shimmer, just pop. You know what I mean? So I'm just gonna take a setting spray. I'm going to spritz some on a brush and go in with the shimmer eyeshadow to get a little extra going in the inner corner. I'm also not happy with how much eyeshadow got under my eyes. That's user error. So I'm gonna go into this kind of soft peachy nude shade and see if I can't tone it down just a smidge. Oh yes, that helped. I'm gonna go off camera, apply my eyeliner, touch up my mascara, come back and give my final thoughts. All right, I'm back. Here is the full face of makeup. What are your thoughts? I'm loving this lip combo. Also, the cheek products I think did spectacular. The eye look, for most of you, is probably gonna be, oh, it's a little basic, but guess what, I'm basic. I love neutral colors, and actually using that army green under my eyes was going very adventurous for me. Um, let me know your thoughts. Do you think it made my eyes look more hazel? It's interesting how in real life my eyes are hazel, but on film they look brown. Um, it could just be the lighting, I don't know, but let me know your thoughts. Also let me know if you know who Hot Mess Mama is, if you follow her, or if you're now curious to go check her out. And also I'm very curious if you guys love Ofra as much as I do. All right, I wanna thank each and every one of you for stopping by, I really do appreciate it. If you haven't done so by now, I would love if you would subscribe. For those who have, thank you so much. Remember to click that bell icon so you can be notified of future videos. And if you could do me a huge favor, clicking that thumbs up really does help with my channel to grow. All right, thanks everyone.